What a championship Denmark has had so far. Yet another day in, in the semi-final. Tina Rasmussen trying to make it through to her third consecutive All England final up against Saina Nawal, the number seven seed from India. Well, as far as the youngster from India is concerned, first ever Indian women's player in a semi-final of the All England Championships. Really, what a magnificent performance by her throughout the tournament so far. Big, big star in India is Saina Nawal. So, looking at Tina Rasmussen, first of all, her path through to today's semi-final. And what a terrific match yesterday against the number six seed Lu Lan of China because Lu Lan is the current world champion and it was a repeat of the All England final from two years ago and it was a thrilling, thrilling match. In that second game, Tina Rasmussen had to save three match points but came back strongly in the third in a match lasting 59 minutes. It really was brilliant. As far as Sina Nawal is concerned, well, look at that. That is impressive. Judith Mellendijk from the Netherlands in the first round, two straight games. Based on he of Korea, two games there. And then in the quarterfinal, beat Juliana Schenk from Germany, who, of course, in the first round, the German player had put out the number four seed, P. Hong Yan of France. But all of her matches in two straight games. So Sina Nawal. 19 years of age turns 20 next Wednesday my goodness wouldn't it be a wonderful birthday present to get through to the final of the All England and maybe even take the title for a world junior champion of course won the world junior championships back in 2008 and I believe was a silver medalist two years prior to that in the world junior championships but it's interesting to me won her first title Grand Prix gold event, the Philippine Open back in 2006, when she was just 17 years of age. Two titles last year, and of course the big one was the Indonesian Super Series event. Tina Rasmussen, well, former All England champion, beaten finalist last year in a thrilling final against Wang Ihan. But it all really started for her back at the Japan Open in 2007. She won the Japan Super Series event when unseeded, and she beat five Chinese players back to back. Although one of those Chinese players was then representing Germany, Zhu Wai Wen. So, four titles for the Dane last year from five finals. Jiang Peihua of China. Okay, last lady. Mark Allen from England is the service judge. So Tina Rasmussen, well, she's vastly experienced. She really is, and physically, she is so, so strong. Surprised that she's not seeded this year. Final last two years and doesn't get a seeded position this year. Ladies That's and gentlemen, on my right, Sandro Nevea, India. Creating history today, Sina Nawal. First ever Denmark. Indian player to be in the semi final of the women's singles at the All England Championships. Up against a player that's so vastly experienced, Tina Rasmussen, the 30 year old from Denmark. Play. Well, having survived that quarter final yesterday, Tina Rasmussen against the world champion, current world champion, Lu Lang, where she had to save those three match points, presumably. That gives a player a huge amount of confidence when you come through such a tight match, such a desperate situation. It's almost as if you think you're invincible and you're on a high when you come to play the next match. Yes, it was interesting last night. 
Tina's had one or two niggling injuries this year and missed one or two events, hence not getting the seeding place and a world ranking just dropping a little bit. But last night, I'm sure, will have got her confidence uh, back onto a very, very high level. She was so resilient and so mentally tough to come through that match that I'm sure she feels very, very confident today. Now, of course, we were discussing yesterday about the qualities of Tina Rasmussen as a player and her physicality, her sheer strength is just awesome. Tall player as well, so she uses her height so well. And when you think that she's come back from a career-threatening injury, a ruptured Achilles tendon, has come back a leaner, meaner, better athlete because of it. It's quite phenomenal that all her real success in international badminton has happened post that injury. And I guess... Well, I know from my own personal experience that when you've had a serious injury, you realise every opportunity is so precious. And she seems to now play with more intensity and more purpose to her game. I think when you have a major injury like that, it makes you take stock of where you are in your life and what you want to achieve. And Tina coming back, the biggest difference is clearly the mental toughness that she's demonstrated since coming back from the injury. It, there are examples in various sports of, uh, of, this, of this phenomenon, but Tina's a great example. Herman Meyer, skier, almost Absolutely. had his leg amputated and comes back and wins the Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah, there's one or two, there's one or two very famous examples. But Tina's, uh, what Tina's done is as good as anybody. She was really you know, a top 20 player. Um, the odd good match win, but no big tournament wins before the injury and then has come back with such determination to achieve and she's become a truly, truly great player. Yes, and not only winning the All England Championships, she has been the world number one ranked player, so the absolute pinnacle in sporting terms to become the best player on the planet. I think in her younger days as well, she was maybe a little bit overshadowed by the reputation of Camilla Martin. And... Um, as she's matured, she's, she's found her own way of playing. She doesn't try to play in anybody else's style. And she really, what she does very well is get her own strengths into the game. So talking of strengths, what about Sina Well, Very young, obviously. Doesn't turn 20 until next Wednesday. Former World Junior Champion. No question she's got talent. But, but what's her real qualities as a player? Sina's, Sina's um, a very, very good physical player she's very very patient player and plays with good margins she makes her opponents win points she doesn't give easy points away and she builds pressure through consistency very very consistent technically very sound and since she's appeared on the scene she's showed great mental toughness as well there's a lot of pressure on her she wins a lot of awards in in india she's very very famous in india but she's kept that focus on her own game and is really developing very well Yes, talking of awards in December last year, she was voted the Indian Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year. When you consider how popular sports like cricket are in India, it just shows the status of Sina Nawal and what she's achieved in badminton terms. And I think the big Six, thing that five. everybody really latched onto was her winning the Indonesian Open Super Series event, beating five Chinese players back to back to win that title. Oh, it's long. There we see a good example of Sina's play there. Seven, Get, keeping five. the shuttle in play and making Tina play one more shot, putting the pressure on in the end, Tina, just overforcing a little bit with the attack from the front court. This is one of six points now from Sina Nawal. from the tall game. Service over. Six. Second seven. time that these two players have met each other in international competition. First time you have to go back three years to the first round of the Hong Kong Open and Tina Rasmussen.